on Friday I'll be building a lamp post and I've already put a 4x4 treated post in the ground and basically I'm going to box the post out with a decorative column and I'll build the column out of Azek which is it's basically plastic or PVC and I like to use Azek on a lot of outdoor projects because then you don't have to worry about wood rot. Now one thing you want to know if you're going to paint Azek is to use 100% acrylic paint and there's, you know, everybody sort of has their own method, but what I've done, and I'll show you, I'll sort of rub my fingernail against some of the projects that I've done or some of the trim out here on the barn. Uh, I always start with 100% acrylic, Fresh Start by Benjamin Moore, and then my finish coat is 100% acrylic, More Glow by Benjamin Moore. I fill any of the nail holes or screw holes with ready patch, and for caulking seams, I always use Fino Seal. I, I just really like this brand. It's very... Uh, easy to use, it's a water cleanup, it's water soluble until it cures and uh, works great. A few years ago I replaced the whole bottom of the barn here. There was just a, a lot of rot from the water bouncing off the deck and back onto the barn. This piece is kind of in bad shape but I've just put some tar on it and then painted over it. And this piece here is Azek and this piece of trim here is Azek and the, basically the bottom maybe 18 inches is Azek. Now there's a couple of things you need to know. One is you're really not supposed to paint Azek a dark color because unlike wood where wood will expand and contract with moisture, Azek expands and contracts with heat. So if you paint it dark it's likely, likely to expand. But since this area of the barn rarely gets any direct sunlight, uh, I felt like it, it would be okay. Now, for the most part, you should really paint Azek a light color. Now, another thing is the dimensional, uh, the dimensions of Azek, where if you were to buy a 1x6, it would measure 3 quarters by 5 and a half inches if you were buying 1x6 pine. Well, that's the same with Azek. But if you were to buy 5 quarter, there's a car. If you bought a 5 quarter by 6 in pine, it would measure an inch and an eighth by five and a half inches. If you buy that in Azek, Azek is only an inch thick. Here's a closer look at the difference in thickness. You can see I have a step down between the five quarter trim and the Azek. It's just about an eighth of an inch. And you may be wondering how does the paint stick to Azek? Well, it sticks really good. It just takes a little bit longer to cure. This is the old tried and true thumbnail test and it's not scratching the surface, it's starting to pour, so we'll go back in the barn. Well, that seemed a little confusing. What I was trying to get across is when I put the siding on the barn, the first thing I did was put the corner boards on and trim out the windows and doors with five-quarter pine. And five-quarter pine actually measures just about an inch and an eighth. And you can't buy Azek at an inch and an eighth. It's a, really the closest thing that you can get to it is a true inch. So uh, you could either figure out how you would like to pad the Azek out or in my case because it's a barn I just didn't really worry about it. I think it looks good enough and again I'm just sort of going with the the whole idea that it's a barn. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as it has a good paint job and it looks good from a distance. So I hope you found the video useful and I hope that you'll tune in on Friday and I'll see you then.